Welcome back everyone. Had a question in one of the comments on the flat net text video. So I wanted to go over a few things. Um, now I had a specific uh, question about adding uh, text to the uh, bottom or top of a lid. Um, it's actually a bamboo lab lid. Um, in this case, this person I believe has the printables version. Uh, so I'll show you how you can actually add something to this. Now, it looks a little bit difficult because if you notice on this, the model actually isn't flush <laughs> to the plate. Uh, so of course you'll be wondering, on my other video I added text to it and I sort of shaved off a piece of the uh, top of the coin. Now this will get a little difficult because uh, if I extend this it will actually start to break the dimensions. So how do we fix that? Uh, one thing we can do is we can actually just flip this on uh, the flat piece. So we'll flip that. And we're going to rotate this like so. And I'm actually going to go over here so you'll have a better understanding of what I'm doing. I'm actually going to create um, a part where I can add text to it. So I'm just going to right click, add primitive. I'm just going to use a cube and we'll flatten this out. So we'll go to scale, uh, turn off uniform scale. We want this as a Z height of two millimeters, but you can of course make this anything you'd like. So I'm gonna click out of there. And I'm just gonna stretch this a little bit. All right, so what can we do with this? If we click on that primitive, we can go and create text for it, text shape. All right, bring that over. I'm gonna rotate this 200 and, yeah, 270 degrees. You can also adjust it here. over on this side, oops, the text shape, and I actually want to do an embedded depth. Now this particular part is two millimeters high, you can make it two, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the thickness can, can go as low as 0.1, so it's not exactly flush, but it's close. So we'll create that. I'm going over to text shape, we're going to right click on this, and we're going to change the filament color to black so you can see it a little easier. And the steps from before are actually still the same. Uh, so we'll, we'll click on this particular model. We will then go to the cut tool. And in this case, it doesn't really matter, but we're just gonna cut this guy in half. So um, we have one, which is maybe one, doesn't matter. And perform the cut. Now we have two pieces. One piece we'll need, one piece we won't. The piece, that looks like it has a bunch of errors in it. That's the one we're going to use. This one isn't 100% flush. So we can actually get rid of this. Now, we'll be wondering, okay, well, we did that. What can we, what else can we do? We're going to flip this. So click on it once. We'll go to lay on face, flip it. Now at the moment, this is in reverse. And now what we can do is we can take this over to this side. bottom, you'll see the, uh, the hello that I created. Now, if I just slice the plate, uh, it's kind of there, but we have an error. So how do we fix that? Go to prepare, click on this once, I'm holding control on my keyboard, clicking on the main part of this, and then we can right click and we can assemble. Now when I slice the plate, I've just made flush text on the bottom of that piece, so in this case the top of the lid. Then of course from here you can slice and print. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching.